Dad? Jenny! my dad. Let me go. I'm like him. Hi, sweetie. Thanks for getting back to me so quickly. It's about an old client, a friend from Big Sur, Ed Miller. He claims it's his fault that his daughter and her mother are dead. He was driving when their car went off a cliff, and he tried to kill himself. He's been in the hospital for a week. He can't get out of bed because of uh, vertigo, I think. Oh, and he was dehydrated, probably because of uh, alcohol. Robert? If you could, I would take care of everything. Travel expenses, hotels, fees. Robert? Whatever you need. I think I remember this Ed Miller. The writer? The one it all started with?
Claire Miller. I'm Dr. Lomas. Robert Kerrigan asked, Doctor, you have no idea how grateful I am to you for bringing Ed home. That's what they pay me for, Mrs. Miller. It's a long drive from L.A. When will you get here? If all goes well, early tomorrow morning. I want to get started with that immediately. I'll be waiting for you. A pleasure meeting you, Ed. I'm Dr. Lomas. Doctor in what exactly? Doctor? Bachelor's in Psychology from UC Berkeley. Master's in... <clears throat> Systemic and family psychotherapy from the University Why, of Michigan. Why, Robert? And... Why? God. Doctorate in clinical psychology from Stanford. <laughs> Why? Hmm. I'll give you free reign. Over my memories, my trauma, my room, my troubles. You got one hour. One. No books, no remote, no tablet, no phone. How does he spend his time? When was the last time he wore them? If I had this kind of vertigo and no other choice but to walk, I'd prefer the cold floor too. Nice slippers. Very subtle, Doctor. Sorry to insist, Dr. Leonard, but the patient's dizziness, nausea, anxiety are triggered by what exactly? Anything, even just taking a few steps. Few factors can shatter self-esteem like a lack of full autonomy regarding one's excretory system. No wonder Ed is in this state. The clock is ticking, Doctor. About that. Straight to my troubles, huh? With all of those degrees, I'd have expected a little more... psychology? Nobody's wiping my ass, if that's what you mean. I'll take nauseated over nauseous any day. The patient shows no signs of injury to the inner ear. This rules out any physiological cause. This could be a case of acrophobia with neurological origins in the recent traumatic episode, as you suggested. What about his daughter and that woman? Do we know anything? On paper, Mr. Miller has no children. As for that woman named Faye, there's nothing. However, with regards to your request to treat him outside of the hospital, He's my patient, Doctor. He's lost. He knows that he'll never recover on his own, but that doesn't keep him from feeling threatened by me. 
Or is that just his way of asking for help? Should we get started? Take talk, doctor. You say it's your fault that your daughter and her mother died? And you don't want to believe me. <laughs> of course. There aren't any birth records connecting you to a daughter. <sighs> I hadn't acknowledged paternity yet. Everything happened so fast. Why do you think Robert Kerrigan asked me to see you? Because he's loaded, feels guilty, is simply bored. I thought you were friends. What difference does that make? How do you feel right now? Pretty fucking shitty. Like when some idiot comes and pours salt on your wound, hmm? If you're only going to give me an hour, it could at least be a fruitful one. Shitty. Why? Why? Because I lost a daughter? Because I killed two people? Because everyone treats me like I'm crazy? Because I pee in a bottle from a Dali painting? Because everything is surreal? Because... Because of you. Does shitty work or do you want me to keep going? Ed, I'm here to help you. Right. I'm sure money has nothing to do with it. How much does Robert pay you? Convince me that this woman Faye exists. What do you want to know? What do you want to tell me? It was about... a year ago. I just sat down to work. I'd had writer's block for years. But I remembered something I'd made up in an interview. And here today to talk about how to revive your creativity is Ed Miller, author of Face to the Ground, our book recommendation of the month. Ed, can I call you Ed? Welcome and congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Though I wasn't too sure you took bribes. Pretty good caviar, right? <laughs> Just to be clear, you're joking here. Remember, you're on public radio. <laughs> Even better, no one's listening. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Ed, have you ever experienced blank page syndrome? <laughs> Constantly. And uh, how do you deal with it? I do a kind of, I don't know, warm-up? If the mind doesn't want to start, then we have to ask the body to. So I let my eyes search for a starting point. When my eyes find the word, then it's my fingers turn. I let them write whatever they want after that word. The trick is not to think. Let them be free. Thank you. 
Really? Not bad, not great, but it's something. Maybe it's a start. Hi! Guess who's calling? <laughs> I bet you don't even know how I got your number. The thing is, I'd like to see you again. Oh, I think I lost an earring. If you... Do I hear higher? Remember, it's original owners. No doubt it was put to good use considering their history of depression. 35,000 from the bearded gentleman. Do I hear 40? 40? 35,000 going once. 35,000 going twice. I'm coming! I'm coming, Samuel! Please! Open the door! I'm coming, Samuel! Please! Open the door! Hi. Uh... Hi? It hurts. Uh, have we met? <laughs> oh, right. Okay. I'm Faye, and you are? A writer. Uh, okay. Writer. 
Now we know each other. Can you help me? My battery's dead, and there are no other houses nearby. Ugh. I'm no doctor, but that looks really bad. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of something, but I'll take you to the hospital. No, don't. I'm between jobs, no insurance, no money. I need to lie down, please. Okay. Well, come in. Let's take a look at it. If you bleed to death, you mop it up. Can I lean on you? Um, maybe you should ask before you actually lean on the person? Ow! Oh! Oh, hold on. Slower. <laughs> Hold on, um, not so fast. Don't take this the wrong way, but this would be faster if I carried you. Uh, I can walk. Just don't go so fast. Uh, ow! Uh, fine. Carry me. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna grab you here, okay? And here. And lift you up. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Is that okay with you? That's okay with me. All right, here we go. All right. Hey, am I that heavy? If you had taken your backpack off... Okay, I'm going to let you go. Hold on, hold on. Let me take my backpack off. Now? You want my back to hurt too? Mine already does. <laughs> All right. May I? You may. Do I? Please do. All right. Oh. Phew. Finally. Thank you. Are you good? Comfortable? Hmm? As comfortable as I can be, I guess. Thanks. Um, what did you say your name was? I'm a writer. Oh, yes. Thanks, writer. If you could bring me some ice. <laughs> Hand me your phone and I'll charge it for you. It's no problem at all. I left my car outside the Force Park entrance. I'll go over there and let you be once the swelling goes down. <sighs> All right? Ed, sweetie, did you get the little blanket I made for Petronius? Aunt Claire? What blanket? A cat blanket's a thing? Oh, it should have gotten there by now. Hold on, I got a package the other day. Let me check.
What? You don't cook either, pet. Oh, all right, if you can bring me some ice. Yeah, I can. Wait, wait. Gently. Perfect. Does it hurt? It'll fall asleep with the ice. So will I. Ooh, fine. It's your blanket. Guess who's calling? <laughs> I bet you don't even know how I got your number. The thing is, I'd like to see you again. Oh, I think I lost an earring. If you...
Not bad. Not great. But it's something. Maybe it's a start. Do I hear higher? Remember, it's original owners. No doubt it was put to good use considering their history of depression. 35,000 from the bearded gentleman. Do I hear 40? 40? 35,000 going once. 35,000 going twice. Ryder? You there? Hey. Feeling better? Uh, I think so. Thanks. Hey, the ice worked. My ankle looks brand spanking new. Yeah, you heal quickly. Always have. By the way, thanks for the blanket. Thank Pet. It's his blanket. The cat? Bold move. I'd definitely go with a cold girl over a pissed cat. <sighs> Besides, I usually warm up fast. <sighs> Have you eaten? I'm hungry. Should I come down and make you something? Something? My fave. Is it any good? No. God awful, to be honest. Hmm. That sounds yummy. But I'll just make something myself, if you don't mind. Someone looks pleased. Am I interrupting a special moment? Huh? Porn? Something? Porn. It's something... I'm writing. So the writer writes. What do you write, writer? If I told you, I'd have to kill you. Hmm. Here, maybe this will get you talking. Consider it my way of saying thank you. Hmm. <laughs> A toast? Hmm. 
May I ask where you carried this from? Your kitchen. I was looking for leftovers in the cabinets and... Huh. I thought you knew about wine. Are you doubting me? I'm offended. Convince me. Hmm. Full-bodied with a deep ruby hue. Hints of red currants. Hmm. Floral notes. <laughs> 